In the last four to five days, I have created 1,300 artificial intelligence images. And they're pretty incredible. Woman dressed in elegant coats staring at neon robots, war, destroyed buildings, fire, foggy, daytime, photo from cinema, camera, natural color grade, cinematic lighting, style Gregory Crudson, version 5.1 and 16 by 9. The, that, right there, that is the prompt I've put in. And I've got to tell you, this is a crazy future that is coming at us at light speed. It's worth getting in on this, even if you're not going to use it, learn it, and just, you know. This is a film that's going to have a lot of photos in it. It's all about artificial intelligence and earning money on artificial intelligence. Now being able to use these images you create and sell them on Wirestock is a game changer. As you can see, they're not always perfect. They do need some upscaling. And there are little glitches here and there, but as a beta, it's amazing. Right, as we speak, I am still using Midjourney. It is a program to create artificial intelligence images, art. And you can use it with Wirestock because Wirestock has a bot that works with Discord Midjourney and it upscales it, submits it and publishes it on your Wirestock account. That's pretty cool. Now, Wirestock got in touch with me. They're like, Phil, would you like to do another video for us? I'm like, sure, the last one I did was on drones. If, if, you're, if you wanna look at the drone video, you can see it up here somewhere. This one, they wanted me to talk about artificial intelligence. And I'm like, okay, so how can we use that in the drone world? I played a lot with Adobe Photoshop and the new AI feature, which you can see a video of up right there. And that will help you, you know, change your photos a little bit, your drone photos in Photoshop for stock footage. You can, you know, pull them out, you can enlarge them, you can put things in them. Quick tip, if you do use small little squares of 1,024 pixels, then it will be sharp. If you, you know, get a whole part of it, it's gonna be on sharp like I showed in the film. Back to Mid Journey. I'm like, okay, I'll try it Mid Journey. It's a little bit, you know, scary for me. There's a lot going on. You go into the Discord, things are flying around. People are creating, you know, photos of themselves. They're creating everything that you can possibly imagine. I love analog cameras. I have about a hundred photography albums at home and I have a lot of photographers I'm inspired by. One of them is Gregory Crudson. So I started um, putting in prompts that you have to learn for this in Gregory Crudson kind of styles. And the stuff I'm coming out with is just mind blowing. Gregory Crudson is a photographer that takes a month to take a photograph. He spends a lot of money, a lot of time. He does it in you know rural areas. It's very surreal. It's eerie, and I really love that look. It's very cinematic. He builds sets, you know, it, it's insane. And what Mid Journey has allowed me to do is that it's allowed me, without any budget, without any sonography, without any actors, sitting at home to create a feeling, an atmosphere, like Gregory Crudson does, or Wes Anderson, or James Cameron, in my photos. And I say my photos because I'm using the journey as a paid version. There is no freed version at the moment. It is June 2023. They don't have that anymore. As a paid version, I can use these photos commercially. I can sell them. I can put them on wire stock. And that's incredible because what I've been creating, the beginning was like, oh, okay. And then my mind just opened up. And what I've been creating in mid journey is dreamy. It's basically what I've had in my mind, what I'd love to create, but I don't have the budget. I don't have, I can't go to a war town, war torn city. I can't go to Bora Bora. I can't go to Iceland every single day. I can't go to Lake Como every single day and create these images. And besides, I don't have robots and I don't have a spaceman suit. I can't set hundred cars on fire. <laughs> AI is incredible. There are limitations, obviously, because I've noticed that if you have a full body, faces don't look too great. 
no matter what I write. Prompts are quite hard. I want it all to be in 16x9. I want it to be using 5.1 at the moment. And it's quite difficult sometimes. You've got to experiment with prompts. Over the last three days, I've made over a thousand images. Yeah, that's insane. Over a thousand images. And these images I can upload to Wirestock, to my account, and create a really surreal universe, a portfolio that is beyond my wildest dreams because I don't have the option to actually physically go out with my camera and capture it. It's interesting. It really is. It's very inspirational. And if you get it right, your jaw just drops. You're like, <gasps> I mean, th these four images I have right here of a war-torn street with robots in it and a woman in an elegant coat staring at the robots. It's surreal. It's, it's wild. It would probably cost millions to recreate. <sighs> it's really, really impressive. And you can do this on my journey, upload it via the bot to Wirestock, and you can create, and you can sell, and you can make money without even having a camera or a drone. It's just incredible. And you can also blend. So you can take a photo you have of a drone or a person and blend it with another image or add it as a link and get it out as a completely different image, which is just absolutely incredible. You can create drone shots of places that you've never been to, you know? You, you can type in anything. You can type in Mount Everest. You can type in Iceland, India. You can type in different heights. You can type in different cameras, focal lengths, portraits, close portraits work pretty well. You might have to try a few different times because the eyes might not be 100% circular. Um, so just keep on putting in prompts, keep on learning the prompts, keep on trying different prompts, experimenting with, you know, putting woman underwater or woman with water on top of her. You know, it, it, there are so many different ways. I'm trying to flood a room and put a woman in it drinking tea, something surreal. And, you know, I'm working on it, trying to get the right prompts. It's a lot of work, but it really is very, very interesting. And I, I would suggest you learn it because I think AI is going to take over our lives. Something crazy. I think, sure, the unique creators out there who love creating with a camera in the hand will be rewarded for doing that because everyone's going to be able to do AI. But, you know, being able to do this, not everyone can do that. But back to AI. You know, this is really incredible. And if you want, you can also make a Wirestock Pro, a premium account, which means that you can sell your prints and you have a lot more options, a lot faster rendering and text checking. So, you know, with Wirestock, it has the submission button, which I talked about in my latest film for Wirestock, which is fantastic. You upload, press the button and boom, you're done. You are ready to sell. But with this, with the mid-journey bot and wire stock. I really am blown away and I really hope the images I've shown in this video will inspire you to go out there, set up an account, wire stock, mid-journey, sandwich them together and start creating whatever you have in your mind. Now I do get a lot of warnings because I have fire, police cars, robots, women, it's mixed into some really weird ways, but normally if you press appeal, it will let it through as long as it's not something, you know, violent or naughty or just a little bit too freaky. Mine are normal, they're surreal, but that they're, they're, they do get a lot of warnings. And I really hope that when you do create some stuff, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys are creating out there because we have some weird stuff in our heads. Any questions, comments down below. If you did like this film, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to, and you know, ring the bell. That really, really helps. Wirestock, thank you. This is awesome. A thousand images in three days. I went, I went loco. Yeah. <laughs>